Hello everyone and welcome to another figure review. Um, today we'll be taking a close, uh, close look, oh, I can't even talk, close look at the Blue Ninja Amazon exclusive 2-pack. Um, um, this is the brand new um, plastic free packaging, there you go, I forget things. And this is number 51 in the series. Um, the previous video, the Crimson Guard video, um, he was number 50. So this is continuing on to 51. But right off the bat, I have to say I love the packaging. Um, no issues here for it being um, plastic free. Um, I do know people, um, I saw sort of a custom-made packaging, which was, um, where they had the window, and it looked nice, you know, they customized it to have the art in, in like, certain corners and stuff, so it gave us an idea of how it would have looked with the window, since we never did get any two-packs with, um, classified series, so... Yeah, I just wanted to point that out, but I am fine with my, or not mine, but I mean, you know, in general, the general direction they're taking here, I love it. Um, we still get the art on the side, and that is what I wanted the most, because I display my figures, or not the figures, but the boxes, um, with the art on the side, so... Glad there is some consistency, or I might just do like the Fortnite um, Snake Eyes up there, just put it facing forward. That shows a beautiful art. So, yeah, um, box, I love it. Box art is great, and it's even got this sort of very shiny finish to it. Classified series, Blue Ninjas. Um, we get product shot here, whereas compared to. Um, the Marvel Legend one, we get the product shot of them here, and then the art just sort of faded in the back, and then we get the art again over here. So which one do I prefer? Obviously this one. I've already spoke its praises. But yeah, I think it would, it would have been better if Marvel Legends did the art here, and then maybe did something like that, the product shots in some corner. But yeah, um, number 51, I said, more product shots, not, not much else at the bottom. The top, we get a cool Cobra logo and 51. So yeah, um, that is the packaging. I love it. Not much to complain about here. All right, so we're going to keep rolling. We're going to do this without cuts. Just to get that plastic-free packaging experience. And oh my god, this looks, looks great already. Let's see. This is what I was excited for. We have a little, like, crate. So we have, like, the handles there, a little number pad with the name of them on there. Cobra logos in the back. But these are so cool, and we didn't get anything like this for Marvel Legends. Everything is just in these white plastic bags. I mean, I'll be comparing everything in this video. Oops, I bent it. I kind of wanted to keep that perfect shape, but oh well. Look at these bags! Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. Jesus Christ, okay. So we'll put the box uh, at the side over here. Um, yeah, we have the plastic bags and then we have the actual tray. And that's all that comes inside. Lovely box. Let's put this at the side for now. And oh my God, this is amazing. Okay. We have the figures are strapped in with these I don't know, cords, I'm not sure how... Uh, okay, 
we get all this stuff in the back. So I'll probably cut away just to get them out of there. Seems kind of uh, tricky to do, but we still get the cool Cobra sort of background um, cardboard in the back. That's nice to see. And then we get these cool bags, man. The Cobra logo, GI Joe logo. I love what they're doing here. There's even like a little cob cardboard piece in there. Sort of. Yep, it's to keep things in place. So there you go. These are accessories for. Uh, okay, I'll take a look right now. Oh, we get even more stuff in here. Get even more accessories. And on this other one, we should have even more. They're easy to tear as well. You're not going to be struggling to tear these open. Okay, so this one has a sword in there. Um, a bit odd. Um, we get the sheath to that sword in here. And a whole bunch of more accessories. So I'm going to cut away, get these guys out of there, and then get all of this stuff um, organized. Alright, so I have a whole mess here, but just to compare how things are being packaged. This side being the G.I. Joe. So we get the cool little case over here. Um, we still get our background, which is a shame that they're using those weird twisty strings. Because now we just have a bunch of holes on it, but can always just use um, previous figures backgrounds. And then we can get cool little bags. So that's cool. Um, compared to Marvel Legends, where they just sort of um, stuck um, the figures into this weird cardboard contraption. And then we just got basic white bags for all the accessories and stuff. So you can see, <laughs> I'm already preferring the way the Joe team um, did their um, packaging. I'm going to be discussing again prices and how um, everything um, sort of when it comes down to Marvel and the, and the G.I. Joe team, um, we have basically a, not exclusive, but they're anniversary figures. Okay, so that in Hasbro's mind means increase the price a bit. About 60 bucks and 45-ish bucks around there. Two figures, um, they're both two packs and this is the accessories. Um, we get lots of hands and two heads for Spider-Mans. Then a whole bunch of um, accessories for our ninjas. I'm not sure, but I'm seeing a lot more here than over here. And then we still have like little rope, actual rope on that grapple. And then, as well as two heads over here, so, I don't know. Um, it all comes down to licensing as well. They gotta pay fees to Marvel and all that stuff, but... 60 bucks, uh, I'm not too sure. I mean, they could probably lower it. 55 bucks or something, maybe 50. Like, are they really that desperate for money? I mean, I guess so. But I don't know, this is just comparing the two and in terms of prices, because I mean, pretty much these guys are also a deluxe or exclusive figure to Amazon, so wouldn't that increase the price of their exclusives or something? I don't know. Just uh, <laughs> something to think about when it comes to buying these figures now. Alright, now that I got all this rambling out of the way, um, Let's actually take a close look at what we are here for, and that is the Blue Ninjas. Um, both of these are reuse of 
the Rent Ninja, and the Akiko figure from the Snake Eyes movie. So just to give a quick comparison here, the Rent Ninja and Akiko. I'm not too upset they reused this body. It's actually very well articulated, as we'll see in a minute. And the well Blue Ninja, that makes sense. So, getting these guys out of the way now. Let's look at um, her accessories first, and then this guy's accessories. So here is her pile. Um, all these accessories will be the same as the Arctic um, Storm Shadow we got, also from Amazon. So as you can see, we have uh, the arrow holster and then the sword sheath and the same sword. And they're being used here as well. So all this, uh, we get the arrows, the Arashikage logo, not painted, that's fine. And blue arrows over here. And then we get this cool sheath. And this you can attach onto the arrow so you can position it any way you want. We get nicely painted um, swords um, in this pack. As you can see there, very nice silver paint. Sheets in. There you go. Weapon storage. You get this grapple hook with the actual rope. Um, I don't want to untangle it for obvious reasons. You get the same bow that came with the Arctic Storm Shadow, and then this sort of um, ice pick kind of thing. Oh, and one final thing is this cool um, head sculpt. Alternate head thing we got going on. If it can focus. No, maybe. Alright, so hopefully it focuses now. My settings were a bit messed up, so hopefully <laughs> the video didn't look like complete garbage um, earlier. But yeah, we have the head sculpt here. Uh, the paint is a bit messy here in the teeth that we're trying to paint. But overall it looks nice. We get some yellow eyes in there. Paint in the ears. But yeah, this is her last accessory. Which, by the way, her this head sculpt is brand new as well. Because she's a female, so, you know, they had to make something new. But yeah, to quickly go into articulation with her, you know, arm goes up that much. She has a bicep in there. I mean, not butterfly joint. 90 degree arms, and both of her hands should hinge up and down. Her head is the one that worries me the most. Um, at least the, the joint. It is very small, and so when you try to make her look down, she's not really moving on the disc hinge, so I'm not going to risk anything. Um, torso, articulation, she kicks up that much. Probably higher with that. Yeah, there you go. Um, bicep swivel, double jointed knees. Boot swivel and back and forth and ankle pivot. Um, still a bit sick, so sorry about that. But yeah, very nice looking figure. And this is what she looks with. The ah, there you go, masked um, look. Yeah, that peg is too small for her to articulate up and down. And next we have the blue ninja. Um, uh, male. Um, accessories include everything that we've seen with a Red Ninja. But this time we get painted blades. So it looks very nice. I, I love the silver they're using here. And this, of course, heats into this little holster here he has. We have a smaller blade. 
And this also feeds into his back piece. And this holsters um, even more things like his... I don't know what these are. I just call them like ice picks and leave it at that. So there you go. All those go in there very nicely. We get the two... I know the name, but I can't remember right now. But yeah, we get two of them. These aren't painted, just all molded gray plastic, as well as these um, axes, tomahawks, whatever you want to call them, also just molded in gray. And quickly go into articulation. His arms go up that much. He has a bicep swivel in there, double jointed elbow, um, hinge up and down torso he can't go forward that much and back pretty well um he'll look up about that much and down a bit more he has great pivot um waist swivel in there he can kick up back not so much bice um upper thigh cut here we go with the Double jointed knees. Yep, he can kick that little ring there. And then his foot. He has boot swivel and then his foot goes back. Forward and then he has ankle pivot. So yeah, with this guy you can almost store everything on him. He's going the back here. There you go. And come on, work with me back piece there you go and then you can have him hold these two or whatever you like and lastly we have this mask which mine is well painted for the most part yeah yep yep they're very nicely painted um i have my brother's one here and if you can see his he has that tooth there and all the paint was applied slightly to the left so it didn't really land on there and mine did if you guys can see that but yeah mine is well painted so that is good to see and quickly try and do this on camera there it goes. That's tough. Okay, there it goes. You gotta hear it pop. And there you go. Um, everyone got excited for these um, alternate heads. And well, I got on it too, so here they are. Um, yeah, they're very nice looking figures overall. Um, not much to complain about reuse of bodies and accessories i don't mind it um they're great accessories uh i'm trying to just um, pose or have her holding some stuff so the final few seconds of this review so yeah um there she is Uh, we'll compare them to some other ninjas that we have here. Uh, such as Storm Shadow. You know, he'll be leading them. He'll be in his command. But the Blue Ninjas for now, at least in my thing, my head cannon, they'll be like second in command to um, Storm Shadow. So when he's not around, they'll be in charge of the Red Ninjas. Um, we showed him before, Arctic um, Storm Shadow, and then lastly we have the Fortnite Snake Eyes, and the Red Ninja, just to show him again. So yeah, overall thoughts and overall, um, I guess, opinions on these guys. 
I enjoy them. Um, the head sculpts uh, are something new and different. <coughs> Sorry. Um, but I enjoy them. Uh, they look nice and these face mats are going to be able to um, differentiate themselves in the display. Whenever you do see them, you'll be like, oh yeah, those are some cool looking ninjas. Jesus Christ, these hands are tough. I'm trying to put this sword, but it's very not pliable. Uh oh, is this a thing with these guys? They're it's very tough plastic that they used here. Um compared to uh, the Rin Ninja. Has it always been tough? I guess yeah. But these guys, I don't know, his hands are a bit tougher, I don't know why. But anyway, <laughs> well there you go, last minute you find something, uh, small issues, but. But yeah, that is the Blue Ninjas, and that is the review on them. Um, and as well as the constant rambling about prices and what figure should be worth and how Hasbro is um, overcharging and whatnot, but Blue Ninjas 2-pack, I recommend you picking them up if you get a chance. Nothing that you should go entirely crazy over, but they are Amazon exclusive, so once they're out of stock, their prices will more than likely skyrocket. So pick them up if you get get a chance and if you're even interested in them. But yeah, um, nice figures, nice repaints. Cool new heads to swap out with. Um, so yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys consider subscribing, leaving a like, or even commenting what you thought about these guys. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Nice and gentle putting these back in the box. Nice. Now we take it into my closet. I already made space, so they'll be facing front. At least for the moment. Hey look, Rain Ninja, Storm Shadow, Storm Shadow. Red ninja, uh, blue ninjas.